Salesforce for Wealth Management gives a wealth management advisor a look at their current book of business, how they're growing their business, their assets under management, and their daily up-to-date tasks, as well as the clients that they're working with. As you can see through the current clients tab, we can understand our number of clients, assets under management, assets held away, month over month, year over year, and the last seven days. These are an example of the powerful analytics that are on display with Salesforce Financial Services Cloud. On the right hand side, I can see my tasks due today, and I can see that I have a QBR with Julie Morris. So I am going to go to her record tab. And here is really a hub of information all the way from life events to understanding exactly what Julie is holding and her activity throughout her life cycle. Underneath life events, we have balance trends. So we can get an understanding of her assets under management, the wallet share we hold with her, her net worth and her cases. So very powerful to really come here and get a look at all of this client information right from one place. Many tabs, but one record. Under relationships, we can understand what Julie Morris's household looks like, what her husband and what her cousin's household look like, as well as her husband's company. He is under United Partner. United Partner has certain subsidiaries. So this is very useful for taking a, a wide encompassing look at how many of my clients are coming from certain industries? Do they have separate companies? Are they entrepreneurs? Because at the same time, we can see Julie Morris owns her own roaster company as well. Under financial accounts, we get a financial summary and all of those investment brokerage accounts, as well as bank accounts that Julie has open. So again, we get a lot of information here. It's a hub for analysis and reporting and creating correlations based upon the data that we have here. Julie, like anyone else, has goals that she wants to achieve. So as a wealth advisor, it is your job to make sure that you make sure that she has the necessary planning in place for the attainment of those goals. Action plans are a great utilization of the Salesforce platform. What they allow you to do is create pre-designated tasks that are grouped into an action plan. If I come to Wealth Advisory Services, we can see that it provides a list of tasks that are assigned to me and can be assigned to others within Julie Morris's account team, as well as document checklists. So let's navigate back to Julie Morris. And from here, we'll take a look at transactions. So using the power of Salesforce and MuleSoft, you can bring in these transactions from your financial system. So you can record these. You can even have a dispute record attached to some of these transactions and have it map back to that financial system to keep data integrity intact. From here, we can take a look at our referral summary. So how many referrals have come from Julie? How many have been converted? And what is the revenue generated? It's a very powerful information. And lastly, we have the client portfolio. So Julie's got a lot of accounts, but what exactly are in those accounts? Using Tableau, we can track what is in Julie Morris's account investment portfolio, how has it changed over time, and how may we want to alter it going forward. So all of this is made possible within the Salesforce platform and Salesforce for Financial Services Cloud. Not only does it give me access to my book of business, to my referrals, to my lead tracking, and to my sales cadences, but it also gives me a one-stop destination to bring all external data 
pertaining to financial summaries, accounts and balances, and how her spend has changed over time into one central system.